I have some time today and I want to know more about the history of nonviolence. The library has history books. I'm curious to find out whether nonviolence is a very old concept and I'd like to read a few examples of it. The year was 1166 BC. Pharaoh Ramses III had the new Egyptian empire steeped in a crisis due to corruption, luxury, and war. Some of the princes were dying and more royal tombs needed to be built, but there wasn't enough money to pay for the construction and many of the craftsmen were not getting paid. Amana, a worker from Dair el Medino, organized a general labor strike. They marched to the area of the funerary temples of Tutmos III and staged a sit-in to demand rations and to inform the pharaoh, who was absent at the time. After days of conflict, they finally managed to receive their salaries, yet they would have to repeat the strike successfully two more times. Not even the prohibition of holding further strikes would stop them. They continued to organize strikes later under Ramses IV and Ramses IX. These events are described in the papyrus of the strike and are considered the first known nonviolent actions in history. Hmm. It was the year 1027 AD. There were violent uprisings in the Catalan counties. The nobility demanded that the counts take the lands of the country peasants to subdue them. Many peasants rebelled and found the support of the church as it guaranteed by law that any form of violence was prohibited in the areas around the temples which were known as Sagreras. Yet this was not enough to eliminate violence in the region. On his own, Abbot Oliba applied the peace and truce of God assemblies, asserting that there were religious duties established by the church authority to reduce the number of weekdays on which violence was allowed. Even though violence was not eradicated, the abbot's ongoing call for these assemblies throughout the 11th century gradually reinstated peace in the Catalan countryside.